In this lecture, we are going to discuss power rule and constant multiple rule for differentiation. We are going to start a new session that is how to differentiate a polynomial. To differentiate a polynomial, we can use power rule, the sum rule and the constant multiple rule constant multiple rule so uh, the polynomials can be differentiated using the power rule sum rule and the constant multiple rules for differentiation first we can discuss power rule what is power rule for differentiation if f of x is equal to x power n then f dash of x is equal to n into x power n minus 1 that is d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 or n is equal to 1, 2, 3 etc. So this is the power rule. Now how can we prove this power rule? This power rule can be proved by using the definition of the uh, derivative. So we can try to prove this power rule. Let f of x equal to x power n. Now by definition of the derivative we have f dash of x is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. So this is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0 f of x plus delta x is we have f of x is equal to x power n so f of x plus delta x is x plus delta x to the power n minus f of x is x to the power n divided by delta x so this is equal to we can expand this x plus uh, delta x power n binomially so by binomial theorem we have uh, a plus b power n is equal to a power n nc1 a power n minus 1 b plus nc2 a power n minus 2 b square plus etc plus b power n okay so by using this binomial theorem we can write this as limit delta x tends to 0 uh, x plus delta x power n we have here a is x and b is delta x so we, we can use this binomial theorem so we will get x power n plus nc1 nc1 is n okay for nc1 uh, x power n minus 1 here b is delta x plus nc2 x power n minus 2 into delta x whole square plus etc plus delta x power n so this is the expansion of x plus delta x whole power n so here we have minus x power n divided by delta x okay so this is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0 so we can cancel x power n okay and the remaining part will be nc1 is n x power n minus 1 into delta x plus nc2 x power n minus 2 into delta x whole square plus etc plus delta x power n whole divided by delta x so uh, in the numerator all the terms uh, contains delta x so we can divide this delta x from each of these terms in the uh, uh, numerator so we have limit delta into x power n minus 1 we can divide this delta x this x power n minus 2 delta x plus etc plus so dividing delta x power n by delta x we get delta x power n minus 1 that means uh, after the first term all the terms contains delta x after the first term all the terms contains delta x so uh, applying this limit we will get all these terms will be zero so this is equal to 
uh, this uh, quantity will be n into x power n minus 1 because there is no delta x here so limit as uh, delta x approaches zero, we have the value this is nothing but this and uh, here uh, we have the term delta x is in the next term, term of uh, uh, delta x whole square and next term we have delta x whole cube etc so uh, all these terms will be uh, zeros so plus zero plus zero plus etc so we will get n into x power uh, x a n minus one so f dash of x is equal to a n into x power n minus one that is if f of x equal to x power n then f dash of x is equal to n into x power n minus 1 by dx of x power n, n is nothing but n into x power n minus 1 so for n is equal to 1 2 3 etc for example uh, d by dx of x power 13 is equal to 13 into x power n minus 1 here n is equal to 13 so x power 13 into x power uh, 13 minus 1 that is 13 into x power 12 d by dx of x power uh, 7 is equal to 7 x power 6 etc d by dx of uh, 101 is equal to 101 x power 100 etc okay next we have constant multiple rule constant multiple rule constant multiple rule for differentiation that is if k is a constant and f of x is a function then k into f dash of x is equal to k f dash of x is equal to k into f dash of x where k is a constant and f is a function of x okay or we can write this as by Leibniz notation d by dx of k into f of x is equal to k into d by dx of f of x so this is uh, called the constant multiple rule now how to prove this constant multiple rule so uh, we can define another function let h of x equal to k into f of x so by the definition of the derivative we have h dash of x dash of x is actually uh, k of dash of x so this is equal to by definition limit delta x approaches to 0 h of x plus delta x minus h of x divided by delta x so this is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0 we have h of x is equal to k into f of x so this is nothing but h of x plus delta x is k into uh, f of x plus delta x minus h of x is k into f of x divided by delta x so here we can write this as limit delta x approaches to 0 k into f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x that is by taking k outside from this okay now we have this can be written as limit delta x approaches to 0 k into f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x this is by product rule uh, of the limit by product rule of limit okay so this is equal to we know k is a constant so limit delta x approaches to 0 k is nothing but k and this is uh, the definition of the derivative of f of f of x that is this is nothing but f dash of x so this is k into f dash of x we have this is h dash of x is equal to k into f dash of x but we have h is nothing but k into f therefore k into f whole dash of x is equal to k into 
f dash of x okay that is the uh, constant multiple rule for example what is the derivative of d by dx of uh, 7 x power 10 7 x power 10 can be written as by using constant multiple rule 7 is a constant so we can take 7 outside into d by dx of x power 10 which is equal to 7 into uh, 10 into x power 9 derivative of x power uh, 10 is 10 into x power 9 which is 70 x power 9 another example is d by dx of uh, minus 5 x power 3 so this is equal to minus 5 into d by dx of x power 3 which is equal to minus 5 into 3 into x power 2 which is equal to uh, minus 15 x square another one is d by dx of uh, 5 root x which is equal to 5 into d by dx of root x we know the derivative of uh, this is root x we know the derivative of root x is uh, 1 by 2 root x so this is equal to 5 by 2 root x another one is uh, d by dx of some uh, 5 by 8 so this is equal to 5 can be taken outside into d by dx of 5 by uh, we can derive this is 5 by x okay so 5 into d by dx of 1 by x so this is equal to 5 into d by dx of 1 by x is nothing but uh, this is x power minus 1 so minus 1 or minus 1 by x square we know already obtained that minus 1 by x square this is equal to minus 5 by x square next one is d by dx of 6 a x square so this is equal to 6 is a constant a is another constant so into d by dx of x square which is equal to 6a into derivative of x square is 2x so this is equal to 12 a x so you try to differentiate these following functions